In this video, I'm going to share with you the top five camping knots you need to know when you go out adventuring in the outdoors, whether it's your first camping trip or your hundredth camping trip. All of these knots are featured in my book, The Most Crucial Knots to Know. Let's get right into those knots. The first knot you're going to want to know is the square knot. The square knot allows you to attach two different lines to each other and it's best when you tie it around something or pressed against something. That's how it works the best. In order to tie the square knot, you take your two lines here. Let me adjust the camera just a bit. You take your two lines here, you cross them over and it doesn't matter which way you go, but you cross the lines over here. So you create a regular knot and then you put them back and using the same rope you'd used before, you again pass it behind the other and around, just like this, and it should create a beautiful symmetric knot. This is how the square knot or reef knot should end up looking like. The second knot you need to know when you go camping is the figure eight knot. The figure eight knot is the perfect stopper knot when you need to put a stopper in the end of a rope, it is much better than the overhand knot. In order to tie the figure eight knot, all you do is create a loop like this, wrap around one more time. Okay, you see that? Then you take this guy, the running end, you pass it back behind the rope, and then to the bite, you pull it tight and it should look like a beautiful figure eight. Let's look at in that orientation. And the figure eight knot is an excellent starter for a lot of different knots. The next knot you need to know is the bowline knot. And the bowline knot is very handy for creating a fixed loop at the end of a rope to attach to fixed items like poles, ski poles, your tent, or whatever. To create the bowline knot, what you do is you make sure you give yourself plenty of line here so you can create the loop. And you start by simply twisting the rope over the standing part or the part that's going to take the load here. Then, with the loop over here, you're going to take this running end of the rope. You're going to pass it up through the loop. Just follow me here, no problem. And then you're going to pass it around and behind the standing part here. It takes a little bit of acrobat, but practicing will make perfect. Then you come around everything and you pass it back through the original loop you made. So it should look like this. And then you tighten the knot. And that is the bowline knot. It is a very good load bearing knot. It will not generally slip. But again, do not use this for climbing. It is not meant for shock loads because as you're going along, it can wiggle and fall apart and you'll die. I don't want that to happen. The next knot that you need to know how to tie is the taut line knot. The taut line knot is very handy for attaching your rope to your tent or poles or anything where you need to add some tension to the knot. In order to tie the taut line knot, all you do is loop around the object that you want to tie to. All right, here, good. And then making sure you have plenty of slack here. You flip through the inner loop once, just like this. You flip through the inner loop again. See there, just like that, okay? So far, so good. Hopefully you're with me there. One loop, two loops. Now you pass the running end here, over the loop, you continue on with this round and round process. You come over the standing part of the rope here, 
And then you come around and you tighten it up there. So you end up with, as I tighten this line, here we go, and this does take some adjusting to get it set, especially in stiff rope. This rope is particularly stiff, but a limper rope is actually a better choice. I just chose this because it's easier for you to see. And this taut line, once you get it all snugged up and tightened up, you can loosen the line pretty well. But when you pull in tension on it, it actually doesn't slip very easily. This is not a life protecting knot, but the taut line hitch when adjusted correctly, can take quite a bit of load, but it's very easy to slide. But when you pull it here, it takes a lot of tension. The last knot I'm going to show you that is essential as a top five camping knot is called the trucker's hitch. The trucker's hitch is a little bit more complicated because there's a lot going on. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to tie the trucker's hitch and the whole objective of the trucker's hitch is you want to tension between two objects, whatever that might be, and we're going to tie that off. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to loop this guy around with a clove hitch. You know, nothing magical there. We're just going to finish this off with a clove hitch. This is not part of the trucker's knot but this is the way to get this the guy going. Okay, so we'll just tie a clove hitch. And now the goal that we've attached it to our object, whatever it is, is we're going to tie a slip knot. And it's important that you know which direction to tie the slip knot because here's the line come, that comes to the end. What we're going to do is create a pulley. So what you do to create the slip knot is you come over here and you don't put the slip knot loop in this side of the load, you put it in the loop side of the load. You take this loop here, you create what's called a bite, you pass it through just like this, and you tighten it up. The loop does not have to be very big at all, the slip knot pops out very easily. So again, you just simply create a loop. You put a bite in the line, just like this, pass it through the loop to create your slip knot, and voila, you are halfway to your trucker's hitch. Now, all you do is loop your line around your other attachment point, and then the running part here passes through the loop, and now, we can actually create a lot of tension to where we can pull on this guy and it will take a lot of load and it will start tensioning this rope until we have quite a bit of tension on this guy to where you need to stop it. And to finish it off, usually what you do is you can just come around. There's a lot of finishing ways to finish this off so it locks. You can simply use a half hitch and that will actually hold very well. So this looks like a very busy knot, but just remember, we just started off with a slip knot here, and we just finished with a half hitch. Again, once you have your slip knot, you come around, you pull on it, get this good and tensioned up, and then come around, and if it's an important load, you can add another two half hitches or whatever you want to do, but this is the quickest and easiest way to tie the trucker's hitch. As you saw in my video, you saw me tie the square knot, the figure eight knot, the trucker's hitch, the bowline knot, and the taut line knot, or the taut line hitch. All of these knots are featured in my book, The Most Crucial Knots to Know. This is a very easy to follow book. All of the knots are listed alphabetically, so it's easy to find them once you learn the names. And the pictures are super clear, very easy to follow. And most importantly, the instructions include where to use the knot and where not to use the knot to keep you safe while you're adventuring in your camping experience. 
My name is Aaron Linsdow, a polar explorer. Please check out links in the description to my books. Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The, G the Most Crucial Knots to Know, The 50 Jackson Hole Photography Hotspots, as well as my Toll Eclipse Guides. Check out my show, Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more information like this on adventure, outdoors, and camping.